This exhibition is called The Art of the Potter, Ceramics and Sculpture from 1930 to Now. The exhibition explores ceramics and sculpture throughout the 20th and 21st centuries, capturing a whole range of artists who are working sculpturally with clay. The exhibition begins looking at artists like Barbara Hepworth and Ben Nicholson, who in the early 1930s and 40s began exhibiting with ceramic artists. And they took inspiration from people like William State Murray, who were making expressive and um, inspired vessels thinking about abstraction. We also look at studio ceramics from the middle of the 20th century with artists like uh, Hans Koper and Lucy Ree and thinking about the ways that their vessels began to take inspiration from abstraction and began to become more sculptural in form. We also look at artists from the 1970s and 1980s who begin to explore the decorative possibilities of the vessel, in some ways taking it apart and thinking about it in completely new ways. Works by Elizabeth Fritch, Alison Britton, um, and all sorts of artists who were really inspired by sculptural possibilities at the time. We also have a range of artworks by contemporary ceramic artists, so our artists who are using clay, such as Magdalena Dundo, Jennifer Lee, Akiko Harai, and Ryoji Koi, who've really explored a number of different ways to engage with the legacy of studio pottery. Almost half of the works in this exhibition are brand new gifts and acquisitions that have come into the collection, so audiences won't have seen a lot of the new things on display here. The exhibition also explores some of the history of the Wakefield Ceramics Collection, so looking at some of the early and quite exciting works that were acquired in the 1950s by Lucy Ree, by Hans Koper, and ways that show how we were able to build on the legacy of sculpture and ceramics that was already part of the collection.